Imagine being able to work from anywhere in the world while being your own boss, deciding your work hours and living on your own terms. You can be on a tropical beach, in a cabin in the middle of the woods, or even living in a camper van. The only thing you need is a computer and internet connection. This is the life of many digital nomads, like me. And today I'm going to show you how to find remote jobs with no experience, so you can join the digital nomad community. Welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to share this piece of information with you because three years ago when I was trying to become a digital nomad, I didn't have a lot of information. And today in this video, I want to do a detailed step-by-step -step on how to become a digital nomad, how to find the remote jobs so you can do it yourself and not take as much time as I did. Nowadays, I'm a photographer, video editor, and also travel content creator. But before I got here, I used to work as a an accountant in a normal boring nine to five job I didn't have the freedom that I have nowadays if you're here probably you're looking for that freedom so let's get into it well to start this video I want to explain the three different ways for you to become a digital nomad and which one I will focus on this video. Yeah, there are different ways of getting into the digital nomad working online world and I'm gonna focus in one today. Basically, the first one is the one that you are an employee for a normal company and they will hire you, you will have normal work hours, they give you the ability of working remotely. I am not gonna focus on this one, it's obviously a way of becoming a digital nomad, but you don't have as much free Freedom, you are not your own boss. The second one is being a creator on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You can do that from anywhere. You can create content from anywhere in the world. But I'm also not going to focus on this one today because this one takes time. For you to have a community that supports you, for you to get monetized, takes time and it's uncertain. The one that I want to focus is the third option, which for me is the easiest and fastest way for you to become a digital nomad with no previous experience on anything, which is the one that you become a freelancer of a digital skill. So a skill that you can offer online. You just need to have a simple skill and you need to know how to find the clients. And this is the one that will give you the freedom that will give you the possibility to travel while deciding your own hours. But a lot of people are like, okay, I don't have any skills. What should I do? I, I don't know how to find clients. And this is what we are going to go through today step by step. Before getting into the step by step of how to find remote jobs, how to become a digital nomad, I want to talk about the importance of having a VPN as a digital nomad. And also to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Atlas VPN. They are the best VPN in the market nowadays. As I'm always in a different country as a digital nomad, the Atlas VPN gives me the security abroad, access to website and subscriptions that are not available everywhere and great hack it also gives me great deals on hotels and airlines because in different countries they are different prices there is a black friday price cut because now atlas vpn premium is just 170 per month plus six months extra with a 30-day money-back guarantee Protect your privacy and get many benefits of Atlas VPN for the ridiculously low price. You can take this deal by clicking the link in the description below and make sure to be quick because it's a limited time offer. Me and my boyfriend have been using Atlas VPN for a while now, even before this sponsorship, which I'm very grateful because it's something I was already using. It's very, very good if you're a digital nomad. And my favorite thing about it is that you have access to all the shows on Netflix. It doesn't matter where you are. So yeah, it's a great deal. Make sure to check the Black Friday promo on my description. So now let's go back to how to find remote jobs and how to become the digital nomad. Let's go into it. Step one of what you need to do is you need to know what careers are out there that you don't need experience. I'm gonna tell you the careers that are easy, that you don't need experience, but the market is 
looking for them. You can be a virtual assistant, social media manager, data entry, copywriter or story writer, graphic designer, thumbnail designer, video edit, voiceover talent, web designer, SEO specialist, social media marketing, project manager and UGC creator. Now that I gave you 13 options of careers, you need to look at them and see, okay, which one would I pick? Which one is the easiest one for me? You need to analyze which skills you have, but then some people are going to say, I don't have the skills to become a video editor. I don't have the skills to become a, a writer, whatever. You don't need to be an expert to offer your services. There are a lot of people looking for someone to edit reels, to edit TikToks, to edit short form content. You don't need to be a Hollywood videographer, cinematographer expert. You just need to know how to edit a reel. There are many, many creators looking for people like that. They don't have the time to edit everything so they need people to help them they need to outsource or you would think what does a virtual assistant do there are a lot of business people a lot of creators a lot of entrepreneurs that need someone to help them to schedule meetings organize their emails answer emails plan everything they need to be planned they need someone to assist them or if you don't think you're good for being a virtual assistant you can think about translation you can be a translator obviously i'm not going to go through every 13 options i'm just talking about them for you to understand that you don't need to be an expert in any of those for you to offer that and be paid for that now step two is the research one make sure after you chose one or two careers from the ones that I've said, make sure you do some research. I'm not saying you need to go six months of intense research on the topic, but it's important for you to know a little bit more about it. So if you choose, for example, I want to be um, a writer, a copywriter, go online and look for how to be a copywriter online. Go on YouTube, look for Reddit and Google, talk to other people who do it, um, network with people you find online who do it. Make sure you understand about the topic I would say one or two weeks do some intense research on the topic that you chose and yeah that's basically it step two so let's go to step three one that people are the most confused about it's the one of how to find clients how am I going to find people who want me to be their virtual assistant well I'm gonna talk about a few ways for you to find clients but the first one is using the platforms online there are many platforms online for freelancers where you can create your profile saying what you do what you're offering and your rates and you look for the jobs there there are two platforms that you can use I use Upwork but there is also Fiverr I've already used Fiverr I personally prefer Upwork but you if you could try both it's in the beginning it's great to try both so let's go and do some platform I'm gonna open here on my computer okay I'm I'm here on Upwork you have all the services that you can offer you see here writing as I said AI services design and creative which is usually photography and videography uh, finance and accounting you see even more skills here and then you can create your account you will create your account you're going as you decided let's say to be a virtual assistant you're going to create your account and you're going to write your services login into my account okay so obviously I'm a photographer and videographer so the jobs that will appear to me will be about video editing TikTok video creator edit videos so these are all for videos because I'm a videographer or you could or you could put um, writing for example let's put writing script writer for YouTube video email campaign for specialist write tweets about Dubai real estate 200 they pay 200 they are a good client they pay 200 for you to write tweets okay now you understood how Upwork works you are going to create your your profile and now is the part of trying to find the job you need to start applying for these jobs a lot of people create their account on Upwork and they wait they just wait they think someone is gonna see of someone with no reviews with no experience and they are gonna be hired that's not gonna work you need to put yourself up there you need to apply and apply and apply and apply and apply the beginning will be hard okay but after you got your first job your first review so make sure you do a great job on your first one in the first job probably don't be too picky 
Um, cause the only thing you need in the beginning is a review. That's the most important thing on, on Upwork. You need a good review in, review in the beginning. So try to apply, 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 apply until you get one job, get a good review. Maybe the first job is not going to be that well paid, but it's okay. Uh, and then after you got your first job, you applied to many jobs. And again, when I say apply to a lot of jobs, I'm not saying apply to five, apply to 70 to a hundred jobs and make sure you are doing your part because, um, I think a lot of people struggle with pl finding clients because they think that, okay, I decided I'm going to be a virtual assistant and they wait, they wait for the world to understand that they are a virtual assistant. And they're like, oh, I didn't like to be a freelancer because I didn't get any clients. Some people do struggle if, even if they try, but if you try hard and you go after people and you try the platforms, oh, Upwork's not working, try on Fiverr, you need to be persistent until you get clients. And you can get, the best thing about Upwork, in my opinion, is that you can get long-term clients. I had jobs on Upwork that were for seven months, or my, my boyfriend had jobs on Upwork that were for three years. He has clients until nowadays that he got on Upwork. They become very consistent clients, and that's what you want when you become a freelancer. You don't want to have a thousand clients. You, have, you want to have like five very consistent and well-paid clients. Now I'm going to tell you the other ways of getting clients, which is networking, talking to people, emailing people. You can post on your social media what you do. Reach out to other creators. For example, you chose to be a thumbnail editor, which was one of the options that I gave. Go on YouTube, find creators and email them. The creators have their email easy for you to reach them out. So you don't need the, the platform itself for you to find clients go on YouTube, go on, find small businesses that you think it could be, talk to people, let people know what you do. Reaching out to creators, to businesses, to people you see online, make sure you're posting on your social media. I'm not saying you need to become a creator, but post on your social media, talk to your friends, talk to people you know, and make sure they know what you are offering. People know people and people are the ones that are gonna hire you. So make sure people know about you. Okay, so now you understand how to get clients. You can do it through platforms or you can do it through networking, letting people know, putting on your social media. There are two different ways. So step four and the last one. Step four is the one for you to look professional. Create a website. You can create websites super easy with Wix. A website, a portfolio, something like this. So people can see, oh, okay, my cousin, he's a virtual a virtual assistant and he does this. Let me, sh let me send you his website. You know, this gives a, a more professional vibe to the thing. So yeah, this one is just to tell you, you need to look professional. You can't just be like, okay, I'm going to quit my nine to five job and now I'm going to pretend I'm a virtual assistant and I will look around and like wait for someone. No, you need to be showing your professional, showing you're a hard worker, looking for people, emailing people, reaching out and now, and yeah, that's it. You know, basically the four steps of how to find remote jobs, of how to become a digital nomad with no experience, okay? This video is very niche for people with no experience. So if you follow all these steps, you will find clients. Your first paid job, you're gonna be like, what? Someone is paying me to do this for them. Okay, so now that you know all the steps, Make sure you follow all of them. I know you can do it. I know you'll be able to start traveling the world and getting everything you want soon. Shifting from the nine to five and as an accountant to what I do nowadays was the best decision of my life. It was hard in the beginning. Now I'm able to travel the world. In the last two years, I was able to be in more than 15 countries working and traveling, being in tropical beaches, in the middle of the mountains. If you have any questions, anything that you want to ask me, Make sure to comment below, to send me a DM on Instagram, send me an email. I am open to help you out, to communicate with you. So yeah, that was the video of today. Again, I want to thank Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. And again, make sure to check their Black Friday promotion. And yeah, this was my video today. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, make sure to get in touch with me if you want. And yeah, if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, like it, share, and see you in the next one.